guys, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. I am Moose78 and this is my ATS Let's Play series. I upload this twice a week, typically on a Tuesday and Thursday. Hope you guys are doing well today, by the way. If this is your first time watching and you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you. Take a look around and, cons and consider subscribing now. But uh, we are down here in Phoenix today and kind of continuing the uh, trend of getting in some different equipment, pulling some different trailers. We are in the Caterpillar CT660 today. Uh, kind of like this. I've seen it uh, in some screenshots and stuff like that. Uh, finally downloaded it and uh, drove it a little bit and uh, kind of like it. It's, you know, unique. It's something different. And we are pulling Doge Built's uh, Smithco side dump today. We are taking that down to, I believe, Nagali's. I'll go ahead and get backed up, and uh, this trailer is probably one of the best mods, if not the absolute best mod I've seen for ATS so far. But just watch the physics as I hook up to this trailer. That is pretty freaking sweet right there. See how the, tr the truck actually kind of goes down, the suspension's kind of functioning. That's pretty cool, how the suspension kind of actually actuates and everything there. Pretty stinking cool. I'll actually get a good run out of here and get it hooked up. There we go. Now watch as I, uh, couple up to the trailer here. The animations are pretty friggin' sweet. Brings the tarp over. That is awesome. Got the uh, super singles on, so that's pretty cool. We'll go ahead and take a look and see exactly where we're going. Yeah, we're going down to Plaster and Sons and Agales, just shy of 40,000 pounds. Trailer brakes are working good. We'll pull up here just a little bit. Do a quick pre-trip, make sure everything's working just so. Four ways are all working, all the way around. Lights all seem to be working. Turn signals are good on that side. Turn signals are good on this side. I think we are ready to get trucking. Let's see, adjust my mirrors real quick, though. There we go. Bring that guy in just a little bit. There we go. Just the right side. And there we go. Good to be back in American Truck Sim, though. Haven't played for probably about seven, ten days, something like that. Man, I'm not sure why my wheel is doing what it is right now, but it is what it is. I think I'm going to hop out of game real quick and check something, so I will be right back, guys. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, all I did was just uh, hop out of game real quick, open up the Logitech software, and it seems to have fixed itself. Before, for whatever reason, whenever I turned the wheel, it was just kind of like spinning out of control. But it's all good, and we are back at it. So let's... Head down to uh, let's head down to the Nagali's, shall we? Really love the engine sound on this. There we go. Check out the Jake brake. Bad 
bright spot for that billboard, I'll tell you that right now. Truckster gets clear of us. We are good to go. Using a 13 speed transmission today. That's going to be kind of different because I have not used a 13 speed transmission since I got the SKRS. And using the 18 speeds. state nice and safe like there we go that yeah, steering wheel looks pretty cool on this too Seriously, get in here. Man. I don't know if I have to take, off, take apart the SKRS and see if uh, there's a loose connection or something in there, but that is ridiculous. I right, lost all our momentum and got to do it all over again. It's a little bit worse each episode, so I'm not sure what the heck the deal is. Hey guys, Moose here. Sorry to interrupt the video, but just wanted to show you real quick. Uh, this is HTML5 Gamepad Tester, and this is how I test the SKRS to make sure uh, everything's working on it. There's the Easy Jake. You can see how B2's lighting up. Here's High Low. You can see how B0's lighting up. Not sure if you can hear that or not, but that's uh, the range splitter, and you can see how nothing's lighting up. Uh, so it is an issue with the SKRS. I am going to have to take it apart to see what's going on, but I uh, just wanted to share that real quick with you guys, and I will put a link for this down in the video description. Uh, this is actually a web-based thing. You don't have to download anything. If you're having any, any issues with your SKRS, you can go to this link, test it out, and see exactly uh, what's going on. Thanks, guys. Anywho, though... Played a lot of the Battlefield 1 since that released about a week or so ago now. Got the early enlister edition, so I got to play a few days early. I think I started playing the 18th. Been a lot of fun. Of course, I've been playing the campaign. Uh, I'll start getting the next war story up on the campaign. Friends in high places. That'll probably start going up on Friday. And I'll probably just do like uh, I did with uh, Mud and Blood. Post that on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, since those are typically days I don't upload. Like I said, I'm not used to this whole 13 speed thing. Pretty interesting on this. It's got the RPMs on one side and uh, miles per hour. We're all kind of on the same uh, 
same gauge there. It's just got the RPM to the right and then the uh, miles per hour straight away there. That's pretty interesting. Of course, as a contract would run, so we're limited to 65. What the heck's going on up here? Nothing good. On ramps of doom. But uh, like I said, I've been playing the BF1, but I've also been playing LS PDFR. Finally got my game all updated. Got all the necessary mods installed. Got a couple new scripts installed for some call-outs. I was actually, before I sat down and recorded this today, was uh, actually recording some LS PDFR stuff. So hopefully by the end of the week I can get some of that content up. Uh, was having some issues with random crashes though. Not sure what's going on with that. Um, there was one call-out that I installed that I missed installing a file. So I went back and installed that and hopefully that takes care of a lot of of that problem, but uh, I'll kind of troubleshoot that a little bit, and uh, that way I can sit down and uh, kind of go straight through without any crashes. But I'm uh, just really, really enjoying that mod. It is a lot of fun. If you've not checked out any LS PDFR content before, be sure to check it out, and of course, be uh, keeping an eye out for that on the channel. Kind of depending on how it goes, that could maybe be a three three day a week upload, like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I know a couple weeks ago someone kind of threw that out, so uh, just might give that a shot because I'm really enjoying that game and that mod. And like I've said before, there's just so so many different mods and scripts and everything out there for it that just really keep it fresh and interesting. Everything's getting. missed my exit because everything was bright as hell but uh, looks like we'll be able to get turned around up here so not a huge video sure what. Okay, he's apparently waiting on that car. Who's waiting on him to turn? Someone? Someone make a move. Oh, come on, AI. You dumb ass, go. to make sure that car was stopping. Looking down to the map to make sure I was hitting my exit this time. And about creamed, uh, cream the ramp. Just freaking annoying as all get out. And yes, I do 
do know how to shift, so it's it's not that. There. Gosh dang. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to take up take apart the SKRS again, make sure I don't have a loose connection or there's just something in there that's not causing that. issues just whenever I go to split gears just does not want to split the damn gears see no problems at all going from five high to six low Make sure I got slowed down plenty enough so I don't just take off the end of the ramp down here. to the destination. the spot to where there it is there we go that's what I was trying to do So that's a good thing. Wheel is shaking my desk like crazy, which is sh shaking my uh, mic mount like crazy. So if that comes through in the video, I apologize. I definitely think I'll use this cat a little bit more. This thing is pretty slick. Oh, right over here. So I might be able to just swing right around and get this thing parked pretty easy. straighten it up then should just be able to back right in and of course if anyone's been around the channel for any length of time they know I can take the easiest backup job and make it the most convoluted thing you ever did see so let's see what I can do here
And I'm either going to have to turn down or just turn off the force feedback. That is nuts. I don't know why the track IR is bugging out like it is, but it is. Alright, and there we go. That's, that's just cool. Great job to doge build on that. That's just awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stories on the Road. A little bit short today, but uh, we'll be back Thursday. We'll get something a little bit longer. If you like today's video, just give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch. It helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please take a look around and consider subscribing now. And be on the lookout later this week for some LS PDFR content, uh, some more Battlefield 1 single-player campaign playthrough content. But guys, until the next video, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you.